autistic. So he went almost immediately into uh, a type of preschool, special needs. Fortunately, in Seattle, they have very good um, education for him. And when he was three in April, he went into the, the public school. And then this summer, he's going to the University of Washington for speech therapy. So he's developing a few words. He's learning a lot. He's learning some sign language as well. And he definitely knows more. <laughs> and when he was home, he would get me by the hand and, and take me wherever he wanted me. And we would play the little games with throwing a ball or... He would turn around and I would yell, where's Liam? And then he'd come running. <laughs> <laughs> so he pretty well walked me around where he wanted. Uh, we appreciate your prayers and support in that. Uh, it's kind of sad, kind of scary, but yet I, I feel like in the long run that the Lord will use him. Um... Of course, we spent some time in New Nor Norwood this uh, winter, and we were so glad that we were able to be there for that time. And uh, let's see, we went to Massachusetts again for Gilead's first birthday, which is Flag Day, June 14th. And uh, he's learning to sing. Uh, I'll bring back my Bonnie to me. <laughs> so far he has two words. Bring back. And then he laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> and then after that, it wasn't long till our trip down here. Oh, we did sneak down for Janice's birthday party. He had a zero birthday this year. And we, I think we surprised him. <laughs> He never did tell whether we really surprised him or not. And he's still not telling. He's still not telling. <laughs> well, we tried to surprise him. So, Norman, can you think of anything? Yeah, no? I, I called him at 1.30 in the morning uh, for his birthday. <laughs> I know, we were out here in the living room talking, and we're like, he's calling at 1.30 in the morning. It must be Mike. <laughs> We landed on Mike. <laughs> yeah. Norman? Uh, Do you have anything? No, that's about it. She pretty well covered it. Okay. We moved to the broad bits and do the elders or the youngers want to go first? Or? Youngers. <laughs> yeah, go for it. bit of an eventful year for us. Um, Dad was awarded the Servant Leadership Award for the, with the American Association of Christian Counselors, so that's pretty exciting, a big deal, uh, and Brian sent at their conference last year. Um, they moved, uh, bought a house, uh, so that's a big deal for them because we always bounce from house to house to house and haven't bought one since I've been alive. Um, I bought a house before they did. Um, <laughs> we... Um, well, Melanie's got a teaching job again, so she's going to start teaching at a Christian academy in August. So we're excited for her in that. She's going to be teaching high school history and reading. Uh, so we know she's excited. Um, other than that, uh, we, uh, we got Katie and I got a new church. Uh, we've been preaching at a church that was literally just down the road from the church I was preaching at when we got married, just like two blocks away. Um, and uh, it's been fun because we know everybody already because it was a really small community. So we knew pretty much the entire church when we started. Uh, so it's, it's been fun. Uh, and it's been, uh, they've been loving and, and, uh, and an awesome church family. Uh, and we have, uh, um, we've enjoyed it. We really got to, we've probably made more friends outside of work at that church than we have the entire time Katie's been down there. Uh, and that's really awesome because we actually get to tell people, no, we can't do anything tonight because we're going over a friend's house. Which is something we haven't really got to say since <laughs> since we got married. Um, we've had we've had employees and we've had family, but we've never had 
friends that we could just go over and hang out with. So that's been great for us. Um, Mom, did I miss anything? Okay. We believe. That's pretty much covers it. I have, we have a big yard and I got a uh, little tiny.